Hey everyone, today I want to go over and show you how to relube a tip-up, in this case the Beaver Dam tip-up, and then I'm going to share with you my secret recipe that I've come up with in making these tip-ups silky smooth for perch and for walleyes. So let's go over that right now. For today's project, we need one tip-up. In this case, we're utilizing the Beaver Dam tip-ups. These are the newer tip-ups, and I'm gonna to talk to you about how to take the spool off on the newer ones compared to the older ones. And then we're going to utilize the Beaver Dam No Freeze Grease. This is directly from the Beaver Dam Company. Armor All, the original protectant. WD-40 Specialist Silicone Spray. Do not utilize regular WD-40. You need to utilize the silicone spray. I'm going to talk to you about that later. The reason why I utilize these Mr. Clean pads. The newer Beaver Dam tip-ups, you're going to need a 5 64th Allen wrench. And then if you want, this is a good time too to change out your tip-up line if needed. Otherwise, sometimes I just reverse the line off of here and then I'll put it back onto another tip-up, essentially using the back end of the tip-up line. For today's purpose, we're going to be working on the newer beaver dams that have the 5 64th inch screw. That's what the Allen wrench is for, is to pull out that screw. If you happen to have one of the older beaver dam tip-ups, you're going to have to undo that soldering component and heat it up, pull this off, and then solder it back onto your tip-up. So I do like this component right here, utilizing that set screw because it makes it much easier to get at. All right, we're gonna put this little guy off to the side so we don't lose that screw. Now that I have the screw removed, I'm just going to pull off the spool part. So I have the spool part, we're gonna set that off to the side. I'm just gonna grab the spindle here. We're gonna pull that out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the spindle, we're gonna wipe off all the grease Right now, I'm just taking one of the Mr. Clean sponges. I'm just gonna add some water to it. We don't need to soak it, but just get it wet. Get that worked in there. Take the spindle. We're going to put it right in the middle here. Yes, there's some water on it, not a big deal. And that's just to get any of that debris, any of that pitting, any little rust spots that may have formed on it. What you want to do next is take a paper towel and you're just going to dry this off. Next up, I'm going to take the Armor All and I'm going to spray that onto a rag. And now I don't want to use paper toweling because paper toweling uh, can break apart and it can leave residue on the spindle. So we're going to take the Armor All and we're going to spray that on here and then we're going to wipe down the spindle. Armor All makes everything very slick that it touches. Actually, I used to use Armor All on an old trolling motor. Old trolling motor is the shaft component, and it would make that shaft slide super easy up and down. So what I've done here now is I've sprayed this on here. I'm going to take the Armor All. I'm actually just gonna utilize half the spindle. With that being said, if you take your fingers and you go over the spindle, you'll feel that the spindle here, or the part of the spindle here, is much smoother than here. You can feel the difference, actually, that it makes. And that does make a difference when this is sitting in that grease than if it wasn't. So I'm going to take the rag now with the armor all, and I'm going to actually go up the entire spindle and make this super smooth. And actually, if you look at it, I don't know if you can tell but it's actually a little shinier here than it is here. It's a little more duller right here. Non-armor all. Armor all. So once again, running the armor all up and down the entire shaft. One thing I do want to say about armor all is it will freeze. So if you get an idea thinking that you can take armor all and just spray it with the recipe, into the shaft of the tip-up, it's going to cause your recipe 
or secret sauce to freeze up and your tip-ups to freeze up. So never use Armour All and spray it into the shaft of your tip-up. Once again, you just spray it on that towel, put it on here, and then wipe it off so it's actually dry. And then it leaves that film of Armour All and it makes that spindle super, super smooth to the touch. We're now gonna take the Beaver Dam grease. I like to take the Beaver Dam grease, put a little bit in the bottom, but actually put most of it from the top going down. And I'll show you that reason why in a bit. So we're just gonna put a little bit down here. Taking the Beaver Dam grease, we're going to put it in the top hole, or essentially the top part portion of the tip up. Squirt that down into the shaft. Then you're going to take your spindle. This piece here is going to go to the top and then we're actually going to push the grease downward towards where the spool would lie. So right now I am taking the spindle, pushing it down. The grease is going to come out of the bottom. I'm going to push it as far as I can, which is going to be right there. And then what I'm going to do, and this is the important part, is we're going to take the spindle now and we're going to pull it back. But we're not going to pull it out completely. Pull it out till it's almost all the way out. And what that's going to do now, it's going to leave space in the shaft. And that's where we're going to apply the WD-40 Specialist Silicone. So we're going to take this here, we're going to place it into the bottom portion of the tip-up. I'm going to spray some in there and I'm going to spray it until it goes all the way up into the shaft and it starts to actually come out and now it's bubbling out. Now with the silicone spray in here and the grease in here, I'm going to take this shaft or the spindle and I'm going to push it all the way through where it's going to spin it around a little bit. And now I'm just going to reattach the spool. So what I like to do is make sure that that notch on the spindle is straight up and down, makes it easier to find. Place the spool back on. And then we're just going to apply the set screw. We're just going to make sure that's nice and snug. I know some of you have probably been looking at the spool and asking what is this on here. This is essentially a hook keeper and I cut it in half. It's essentially just a piece of styrofoam. And I took marine goop and I placed it on the spool and just placed it on here. This keeps my hook uh, after I'm wound up for the evening. And then it just kind of adds a little extra component to help spool that line back on. And we now have a super smooth tip up. Now, some people might be wondering, why don't you just use WD-40 uh, over the silicone? I used to use the WD-40 actually when I used to create my little secret sauce here. The problem with the WD-40 is it's known to break down gaskets, plastic, so on and so forth. And so I got away from using the WD-40 and then I went to the silicone and that's why I went this route. And I just feel that it doesn't break that beaver dam grease down. The other thing is, is the silicone is that goes down to negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, just so you know, the secret sauce, you can use it in any tip up. I uh, utilize it in the Frabel round tip ups. Uh, I tend to use these more for Northern Pike and then the Arctic fires, which is actually a, a fairly, I think, good tip up for the money that you pay for it. Um, you just wanna pull out uh, set screw here and then you'll pull out the entire spool and spindle together and then you just apply that same secret sauce into the shaft just like I showed you with the Beaver Dam tip-ups and it works perfectly well for both and that's what I utilize to keep these particular tip-ups lubed up as well. You want a smooth running spool and to me if you're going to spend good money on a tip-up like a Beaver Dam tip-up uh, you want everything to be running the way it's supposed to and if you got downtime, like I have right now, I'm actually waiting for ice uh, in northern Wisconsin uh, to get going so I can get out ice fishing. Um, now's the time 
to make sure your equipment is running at 100% and make those tip-ups run super, super smooth. Hopefully you folks found this video insightful. If you don't mind, please hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, Clint from Oak and Iron Outdoors.